what's up guys Matt Jackson here heading to get some fishing in before I head to Nashville early tomorrow morning and this is vlog number 29 all right so today's vlog question comes from Terry and Terry's question was when you go to a trade show for the first time how do you know who to trust and who to purchase from and that's a great question because I was in that same situation the very first trade show I went to and I didn't know a lot of the different vendors and I honestly didn't know who was good who was bad you'll see hundreds and hundreds of booths possibly depending on what trade show you go to and it's really hard to know who to trust and, and who to go with so what I always recommend now is to do your research ahead of time okay find the vendors that pertain to what you're actually doing make sure to visit those booths set up a little schedule as far as where you're going and make sure to hit those booths first because there's going to be a lot of cool things and all types of different things at the show that are going to get your attention but they aren't going to mean anything to you because it might be something that you're not doing at all so you always want to look at those things to keep your options open and see how to grow your business however do the research find out all the different suppliers that have heat transfer vinyl or sublimation or screen printing or and do your research of the trade show before you go and then start searching different places search the t-shirt forms search um, all different places as far as their Facebook pages and see what their reviews are like or ask in different groups what different businesses are like because the thing you don't want to happen to you is to purchase something at a show because believe me everybody and every booth at the show has the best customer support in the business okay because they can tell you that it's easy for them to tell you that because they're right there and they're answering your question and you don't necessarily know so do your research ahead of time so you know get different reviews maybe see different people that have worked with a company before no matter what it's for whether it's screen printing or direct to garment or sublimation or heat transfer vinyl or rhinestones whatever it is doesn't matter but then you'll get an idea because believe me the very first show we went to we get into different kits and stuff and of course the businesses that we talked to they have the best customer support in the industry well come to find out we buy big kits and there's no support at all so you definitely don't want to get caught into that because unfortunately at trade shows they have you right there they want to get a sale right there at the show so of course they answer the phone all the time then they call and of course they do different things do different research as well and see how many tutorial videos they have right maybe even if you're at the show on a thursday or friday here's what i like to recommend call their business while you're at the show and say you know what what's your support like when do you call back oh we call back right away we answer every time well give their business a call while you're at the trade show right there put them on the spot and say okay i'm going to call your company right now and someone's going to answer the phone then a lot of times they like to back away from it a little bit and say oh well a lot of us are at the show right now so we might not answer and we might get back to you in a couple of days again that's where i learned kind of how to run my business in the rhinestone world is i saw all the pitfalls of the other companies of okay we don't want to hire enough people to have a call team when we're away at a trade show well that's ridiculous you guys need support when we're at we do 26 28 trade shows over the course of a year well our call center and our warehouse and everything needs to still be functioning at the warehouse when we're not there and every company that you do business with needs to be that same way ask them what size their warehouse is do they stock all of their items or do they um, have fulfillment centers that send it for you I mean find out because every company at the trade show is going to be a big business but not necessarily they might just be a middleman that's feeding from somebody else or they have different distribution points that they don't even handle so those are all good things to know as you're getting into the business and starting to work with different companies is get some knowledge about the company before you drop some money. Do some research. Hey, do you do webinars? Do you do videos? I mean, a lot of these businesses have been around a lot longer than I have. A ton of them at these trade shows. And I can guarantee you, and the scary thing is, is I can guarantee you, even ones that have been around for 20 30 years and they say we've been around the business forever i have more tutorial videos than every single one of them 
to teach you, okay? And there's other great companies out there that do some great tutorial videos as well. Find them, work with them, because they're going to be there when you need them, okay? Ask them if they have weekend call hours. Hey, we have Saturday call hours. We even have late night call hours, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Why did I implement that and why do we do that at the Rhinestone World? Well, the reason why is because I never had that before. You know when your cutter breaks, you know when you have issues is at five o'clock when everybody shut down or on Saturday when all the businesses are shut down. But you gotta get that order out, right? Well, find the businesses that can support you during those times. And that's honestly the reason why I do a lot of stuff that we do with our business is because some of, not all of, but some of the business that I first started with didn't do any of that stuff. It was about get the sale and then after you get the sale, boom, you're on your own. And that's not the way we're going to do it, okay? So we started just like all of you guys. Once we got in the distribution side of it and the trade show side of it, it's all about support. It's all about teaching you. And there's other business out there similar to us as well that do a good job with that. Do your research ahead of time before you spend money. You don't want to be left high and dry. I was, and it'll never happen to any of our customers. So do your research. Trade shows are awesome to go to. You definitely want to go to them. You can get some great deals at trade shows. Just do your re research ahead of time. Find some great vendors. And honestly, if you ask me, I don't even care if it's another business that sells rhinestones or heat transfer vinyl. You guys know me. I will be honest with you and tell you if they're a good business to work with, if they'll take care of you. I work with plenty other businesses in this industry and team up with them on different projects and videos and things like that. And they sell the same stuff we do. I don't care. There's plenty of business out there for all of us, but you want to work with the right people that are going to help you and your business. Okay, so do your research. Thank you for the question. Again, comment below. Let me know all the questions you guys have so I can make some more great videos for you. Hopefully, Jackson will catch a fish here. What's up, Jackson? And um, thanks for watching, guys. Awesome vlog. Great question. Hopefully this answer helps you out and gets you a little pre prepared for the trade shows. And we have some serious rain coming in here that we are going to have to make a move in the golf cart because we got a couple miles back to the house. So comment below. Thanks for watching the vlog. Make sure to comment. I feel the cold breeze <laughs> coming in. We might get soaked. But... Of course, make sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel right there. Check out the website right there. See all the vlogs right there. And say hi to Jackson right there. We'll see you guys.